Deary me. Oh, dear. It was a bad me. day and a bad way and a bad bait. You're bang on, mate. And uh, let me tell you what. Rice and peas, you got your rice and peas, you got your rice and peas, you got your rice and peas. You know what really grinds my gears? What grinds your gears? When you're waiting for a delivery, brother. Mm-hmm. So let's say, for example, uh, at a parcel that said it's going to be delivered between 12 and 2. So in your head, you think, okay. I have to be in the house for so those two hours. You're expecting it to come between one and half one. That's usually what you're expecting. My annoyance comes in when at 10 to 2, you get a text saying, we've now amended your time. The time's now between 12 and 3. This is my annoyance. To stay in an extra hour because people are too incompetent to know where they're going to be it's extremely frustrating. <laughs> Why not just give me a three-hour gap? Do you know what I mean? If someone says to you, bro, I'm going to be somewhere at a certain time, I am awful when it comes to time and being on time. So when I say I guarantee I'm going to be on time, don't believe me. Because I never, ever am, which is why I never say it. You never That's say why you're me not to, an Amazon delivery bro, driver. <laughs> you never say to... What have I ever said to you? I'll be there 8.15 on the dot. No. I've never been anywhere 8.15 on the dot. I don't think you've ever given me a time for somewhere. But wouldn't that be super annoying if I was constantly like, bro, this time, this time, this time, and then just never show up? You'd think, Jacob, why the fuck are you setting the time, you dickhead? You're not going to keep to it. God damn it. <sighs> what grand your kiss? <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're annoyed that people aren't on time for things? I'm annoyed that people time. set times. They set times and then right. don't stick to those times. I don't tend time. If I say to somebody, someone asked me, someone having a party and they say, Jacob, what time are you coming? Uh, nine-ish, nine, ten, nine, nine, ten. I'm never like, I will be there for nine o'clock on the docks. I'm not going to be. It's not realistic. So I'd appreciate if the delivery man just said between 12 and three. I'd have known to been in the house for three hours. Don't lie to me. Don't string me along. You know you're behind on your route. Just let me know. I could have something planned at two o'clock. <laughs> I'm not going to stand for it anymore. <laughs> Woo! I feel good. You look Man. good. Huh? You look good. You look freaking good as well. I'm loving that it's the colour. It's the colour yeah. combination for me. I feel like it's mad, bro. Yes, the clocks have just gone forward. I feel like you've just slipped into spring. I feel like these are spring colours. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I feel like we you just like walked into it. Yeah. I know what you mean. Did you wake up today feeling a little bit... A little bit. You know what? I woke Ooh. up today. I woke up at about it's about half past nine. Oh, lovely time! A lovely time to wake up in the day. It's not too late that you're a bit like, oh, I just mong out now. Yeah. It's not too early. It's like, why am I up? It's yeah, on a Sunday. perfect time. I got up. Yeah. Made myself a coffee. Yeah. I looked outside the window for a sec. Oh, because the trees are just starting to bud and flower. Yeah. Oh, looked yes. Out the, looked out the window. Yeah. Yeah. Got my coffee and thought. Yeah. I tied it up. Yeah. Did the washing. Yeah. Put the washing on the dryer. Made myself a little breakfast. It was good. How good does that moment. feel, though, to just do simple mm. tasks? And how nice does it say, though, to just, how nice it feels to even say we're, we're in spring now? Mm. You know? Yeah. Even that feels good. It's going to be April next week. It's exciting. It is fucking exciting. We've got the pubs reopening soon. All going well. But it's, I feel like in the positive moments, especially because there's not been a loads over the past year. Well, I suppose there has been quite a lot. But for a lot of people, there haven't been that many positive moments. When you're in them, enjoy it. Because isn't it from, um, what day is it today? Isn't it from the 29th? You're allowed like two people in your garden. March the 29th, I'm sure it is. And then it's April 12th for the pubs. Tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah. Is it 29th? Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, 29th, yeah. It's, it's, it, today. it's a bit stupid, isn't it? They've done everything on a Monday. I know, yeah. It's like, why can't you just do it? <laughs> <the> days before? <laughs> or tell us on a Friday. Yeah. So that Friday's banging. It's like, what are you waiting? Like, if yeah. you're going to open, then open. It's not going to. I guess it's for like retail things to like sort all their eyes out. Because if you say, oh, yeah, everything's open on a Friday again, 
It would just be manic, wouldn't it? True, bro. But you not just expect that any day, like the twenty first of True. June on the Monday. You're not busy enough. It doesn't. It's, I think people just book that day off. It doesn't <laughs> matter that it's a Monday. Clubs will be open. Everything's going to open. Yeah, isn't it? I need, to, the, I need to start booking some time off. You do. You? <laughs> you don't actually book a lot of time off, though, do you? You're quite um, good at like reserving days and I stuff. I don't get paid for it, do I? Self-employed guys. <laughs> That's the lie. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't. It's a trap. It's a trap. They'll get you. <laughs> no, it's, it's fantastic. <laughs> Lawrence chills out all day. I do nothing. I, I, I don't know why he gets anything good. I really don't. <laughs> uh, I don't work at the minute. <laughs> if you are Lawrence's employer, I advise you to not pay attention to the next 10 minutes of the podcast. Because <laughs> you're about to get slapped. No, um, <laughs> <laughs> no, you actually don't, though, do you? What? Book a lot of day. I suppose yeah. because you feel quite. Is it because you are? Not, I'm not gonna say it doesn't feel like work. Cause I know there are days where you say to me, "Jesus Christ, Jacob, I need a drink." Work's been a nightmare. But do you feel it's though because you are in a more most of the time you are in a relaxed environment, so it doesn't feel like Jesus Christ, I need to book a day off. I need to get out of this office, sort of thing. Mm, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. I have stressful weeks and whatever. Like the past few weeks. It's just been non-stop. <coughs> been in at eight, finished at eight most days, but yeah. it's not always like that. Most of the time, it's like I can. I'm quite good with time planning. I know what's coming up in the next week or yeah. month or you know this quarter, or whatever. So I can just say sort of well, roughly around that time, I know it's going to be quiet. Or like if I know I'm going to have like last Friday, I had I didn't even book off. Yeah. I know it was going to be busy most of the day, but I just thought, well, I'm going to be working on the Thursday and I'm going to be working on the weekend so yeah. it doesn't really matter like either way the work's going to get done mm. so but I think a lot more employees should be like that even for employed people what, why why do you need to be there at a certain time if at the end of the day I get like if you're in a call centre you need to be there yeah of course you have to take to take over shifts and, and whatever yeah. you've got a certain time in but yeah. like relax like more like relaxed corporate jobs or especially like creative yeah. jobs like why do you need why do you need working hours yeah well it's something the job's going to get done is the it, employee's going to get paid for that work to be done. So. Isn't there somewhere... Is it New Zealand? I think it's Australia. Switzerland. Yeah. That are flexible four, four time. Four-day... Four-day four week, day yeah. Weeks. Switzerland, I think. Three-day sure weekends. Switzerland. Yeah. Oh, well, I thought New Zealand. was because they're doing so much yeah, shit. Yeah, Monday to Thursday. But for a lot of jobs, bro, people would rather that. Yeah. Cramming your work to four days, you got Friday off. Yeah. Who wouldn't rather that? Take it, take the shift from an eight hours a day to ten hours a day for four days. Perfect. Who wouldn't? Who mm. wouldn't want to do yeah. that? Because it would boost morale. Long weekend, every week. But again, it's these sort of things that don't people just think like... Yeah. It's the way forward, isn't it? Surely, though, as, we, as time goes on, bro, the way everything else does evolve and change, mm. working hours have to. Definitely. They have to. Yeah, they have to. Because people now have got so many different like needs and requirements. Yeah. and Even with working from home, I mean, just, just the people... I, I only work with probably... Mm maximum 30 people mm. in my network that I work with every day that are now working from home. Yeah. Even them, they're all saying, no, there's no way I'm going back to working in an office. Really? I, without doubt, there's no way I'm going back to working in the office because why? Well, I mean, but constant gonna, distractions. I hear you, bro. Right. They're going to have to. It's different for you, isn't it? Because you're not, you're your own, you're self-employed. Yeah, kind of. But I think uh, even... I think the main the main issue with employers yeah. is tracking people's time and what they're doing. Are they actually working it right, when, they, okay, say, when yeah. they say they are? Yeah. But a lot of employers aren't putting any measures in place to see if they are. Yeah. Like, why not get some sort some sort of like tracking software just to see what they're up to in the day? And then I suppose it's like it still gives them the opportunity to work from home and you know tend to kids if you've got them or. You know, have a slightly longer lunch if you want to. That's or even just check up on actually yeah. the work being done. Yeah. Because you think if you're in the office and you get given a whole week to, to, you know, you just do your own job. How often does your boss actually say to you, have you done this, have you done this, no. have you done this, have you done no. this? And, and then they actually sit down and check through the work you've done. Mm. Whereas if you put in a call a weekly, like we, one of the agencies I work with, we have a call on a Monday and a call on a Wednesday. On Monday, we say, right, what are you doing this week? And on Wednesday, say, how are you getting on? And then we have one-to-ones on a Friday in case there's any mm. issues. So you know, as a, as, a, as a boss, as an employer, well, that person's been working on this, or they're going to work on this. Where are they at? Have they done the job? Yeah. 
that's all you really need, isn't it? True. Yeah, again, if you're not performing, if yeah. you're not doing the job, you yeah. don't know about it. Yeah, no. In, in certain types of work, I do definitely think that it'd be so it'd be so much easier to just boost morale and allow your your, your employees like flexibility. For example, yeah. your obviously business is is very it's it's project based. Yeah, it's I need this doing. I need it by then. Yeah. It's all based on deadlines. Yeah. So realistically, as long as you're meeting your deadlines. Mm. You should be able to go wherever you need to go as long as you're meeting those. Oh no, is it urgent? Oh no, who's that big trap? Yeah, piss. Oh, I <laughs> piss. Trev, I'm so sorry. Man. I don't know what this was? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that moment again. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, what I did that? What was saying, Trev? Um, I was saying, I was talking about incentives, jobs. Yeah, you're obviously jobs deadline based. So mm. realistically, you could be anywhere you wanted to. If you're meeting those deadlines, yeah, there shouldn't be an issue. Yeah, you've done what you've needed to do, mm. complete the deadline. But I think a lot of the time with people going into offices and stuff is is so, especially if you're working for someone that's got their own business. It's because people are nosy. It's yeah. because people want that office environment. It's because people want to be peering over their employee's shoulder and doing the peer pressure and yeah. doing the... Yeah. But realistically, if they're doing the work... <clears throat> like even if you're starting earlier or yeah. working till late. Yeah, this is what I mean. As long as their job's done. Like a lot yeah. of people in this agency like to go on runs and stuff in yeah. the afternoon. I don't because I'm lazy. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like they go on like extended runs or they just stay out a bit longer if they want to. Mm. And if they're working in the day, they never mm. would do that because... I would use, especially mm. in the winter when it's dark at night and mm. you know dark in the morning. True. It's just better quality of life, isn't it? Like, I appreciate some people like to go in because they've got better work set up or mm. more of an office, and but you know not everyone has a spare room to send into an office or whatever. But mm. uh, I love that though. I do love that. When I'm thinking about it now, how flexible like your job is. Like you told me before, I've rang you up and I've like days I've I've been on about nipping into the office, and you've said, "Oh no, nah, bro, I've already gone out." I came in at like six this morning and fucked off at like half two, three o'clock. And mm. that's what it should be like, yeah. you know? If you yeah. want to have days where, because you said to me before, there's days where you're just up. Yeah. You've had a good night's sleep. You're up at half five, six. Yeah. I'm up. I'm up. I'm good. Must I feel been good. Waiting around to. Waiting around for three hours, yeah. pissing about, <clears throat> tossing and turning in bed. Get up, mm. go and do your projects you need to do. I'm coming home. Mm. But again, it's to do with the people want that control. People want that. No. You're clocking in at nine, you're leaving at five, just like mm. the rest of us, this, that, that, structure. And it doesn't work because you feel like yeah. you're just doing the same, you're and like at the same time, routine. If it's a week night and us two have had a few bevs, yeah. and I'm feeling a bit rough yeah. in the morning, and I don't want to go in until half ten, yeah. eleven. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Yeah. I work till late. Or I work the weekend. This is what I mean. But it's like they want you there just to be there. It's like mm. they need to know, no, Lawrence is in his office at this time, even though mm. I don't need him. I don't need anything off him, mm. but I need to know he's in his bloody office. Mm. When realistically, if someone calls you, if work's called you, you can answer the phone. Yeah. Yeah, what do you need? Oh, yeah, you need that. Then. Okay, I'm going yeah. to go with it. It can be. For me, my main like bugbear with stuff like that is organisation of work. Mm. Like, when do you want to do it? Mm. Like, don't just tell me every single thing's urgent. <laughs> <laughs> it's low. I love as well. I love the lies. I love the build up. I'm just getting to the office. I can't tell you. I need to talk about it when you're in the office. Let me know. <laughs> Coming to the office, you worry and think, oh, what have I not what said? Have what have I done? What have I done? <laughs> yeah, so my emails are down. And, um, <laughs> got two faced all over your face. Your hair's not combed. You're sitting there at the top. You've not worn for three years. Your email's down. Well, whoop de do. No, it's not Did good. Did you though. Google? <laughs> That's what you get a lot though in your job, isn't it? You said yeah. people asking you to do stuff that But just like I've not I've what? not been taught it. I've not been taught it, so just bloody Google it. <laughs> what's the worst what's the most annoying like things you get? What do you get? Um So many. I can't even I've just <laughs> literally got like fifty gone through my head at one time. <laughs> Uh, just stupid stuff. I think one time I got sent an email asking for me to download an attachment that was on the email to send to the person. 
So they sent, so someone sent them an email with an, with a, a video attachment on it. Right. And they said they can't download it. So they sent their email to me. They forwarded it to me for me to download, download it and then send, send to them that. For them to do the same process <laughs> of downloading it. Did you do it? Yeah. <laughs> of course you did, mate. Of course you did. Because you're, <clears> a, you're a trooper. Just charged them three hours for you, it. You're a, <laughs> oh, mate, this can take you all day. <coughs> yeah, that's the thing. Look, if people ask you to do stupid shit, yeah. overcharge it. Mm-hmm. And that is the joys of being self-employed, ladies and gents. Ladies and blooming gents. So, mate, April the 12th. Yep. Have you got anything booked yet? April the 12th. Have you got everything booked? Nothing. Not a, not a single I'm pretty thing. pretty disappointed <laughs> in your tar, to not be a single thing. I'm saying I need, to get, I need to get in the calendar and oh, start right. planning. Because you are a planner as well, so yeah. I'm a bit... I'm a bit surprised. I've just been a bit sort of apprehensive about this one. Ooh. A word, by the way, that yeah. might be my word of the day. Fantastic. Apprehensive. Ooh, rolls up um, And yeah, I don't know. Why, why. Like not thinking it's actually yeah. real, but now you realise him literally yeah. two weeks away. Yeah, I can't blame you. I think you'd be quite foolish to not be sceptical, though. Mm. In it, like if we got to April the eleventh, they were like, "No, it's not going to happen." In I wouldn't be like, "Oh my god, I can't believe yeah. I did this to us." I'd be yeah. like, "Oh, yeah. okay, well." Of the month. Because I'm used to it now, isn't it? Yeah. But, bro, positive vibes. It's spring. April the 12th. Outdoor. We need to get planning. Gardens. Pubs. There's not really much in Burton, though, outdoor. <laughs> what the F? Well, I was say, well. seen pictures of the Anglesey the other day. That looked all right. But did, didn't it? Yeah. Yo, I find, like, I find, I'm trying to find a little bit funny, though. I feel like every place with a garden now is just... Ran shit loads oh, no. of like, yeah. furniture. Yeah. There's no space to walk. Yeah. It's like that. Like <laughs> it's segmented. Like, it's like it's a bit. It's a bit weird when you actually think about it. Like we just can't wait to go to a garden space. It's it's, it's about the to sit down, though, with it. To sit down. Yeah. To drink with strangers. Yeah, but that's what it and is. We isn't could it? do it in our own garden. That is what it is. Though it's the nosiness. It's the. I've seen. Oh my god, there's there's Frank. I've not seen him for six. Frank, bloody hell, Frank's put on weight. Okay. Right, yeah. And you start having all that stupid banter, and this yeah. comes back. Frank, so so it's different out here, doesn't it, mate? <laughs> yeah, it's not the same at home. <laughs> hey, watch how you go. Hey, hey, I'm uh, good, and Frank. Hey, ah, uh, you you started a beer. You started your own beer garden. <laughs> Wee, that's just like you, that is Frank. He started his own beer garden. Couldn't believe it. <laughs> She's gonna say hello. Fuck it out, Frank. I don't like him, Jacob. Okay. <laughs> That's why I can't wait to see moments. the for your first domestic yeah. argument. <laughs> Someone's had too much to drink. The yeah. other half's not a fan of it. <laughs> you always do this. It's been a year and nothing's changed. <laughs> because that's another thing, bro. People's tolerances yeah. and people just getting over hype and. To be fair, this is where I do feel for those that are in hospitality. People haven't seen each other for so long. Man. Oh, yeah. People are going to get yeah, up. Crazy. People hard. are going to talk to each other. People Remember are going to hug each other. Like the first time. Oh. And there was that like, private function on. Oh. That was weird. Oh. You know how weird that was? When we got those. Oh, yes. When we were having the Godfathers. Yeah. Got Put the thoughts. recipe in the. <laughs> 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 no, we're not. It's, 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 but it will kill you. It's poison. <laughs> No, um, yeah, we watched the football, then we got moved. Yeah. But then we didn't get moved. The, pe- the, like, the vibe yeah. of the people. Yeah, there was a whole, it was like the pub was split in two, wasn't it? It was like they were bouncing almost. Yeah. Like you could see them like. Yeah, yeah. Like, like so edgy, eager like. Eager to yeah. be around people. It, 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 me, it made me a bit anxious. No, the thing is though, bro, when you're, imagine being next to a party and not partying. Because the thing is, I knew those people that were in. The pub. Yeah. So I sat there with you, we're chilling, we're having drinks and that, watching the football. And five yards over from us, there's 30 people on separate tables. Well, I say on separate. They were bouncing from table to table, having a party. Mm. And then you've got managers in the place walking around with masks on. No one's allowed to leave the table unless Telling it's to go off. toilet. They're two separate fucking smoking areas. It's like... It is mad when you think about it. The whole concept of that, just like... yeah. 30 people yeah. getting in a room. Yeah. All for just draft. Yeah. Drinks. That's it. And that's the thing. Uh, you know what, mate? Now I've started thinking about it again. It, 
yeah, outdoor pubs and yeah, you go out and have a drink, but it's still not you, the whole point to be social for me is to be social, to be relaxed. Yeah, yeah. not on edge about because what the thing was yeah. worse, mate. Do you remember? Oh no, I'm not sure if you were there. No, no, you weren't there. I was in Lloyd Burton's, mate, and um, <sighs> guy I knew I'd not seen him for a few months. I was sat down. Uh, just at a table inside, and I was just talking to my friend, and then this guy came over to me, talking to me, stood up, must have been talking to me about five seconds, just, how you been, mate? This is shit, and it, oh, blah, 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 blah. Out. Got kicked out. Yeah. This is a guy I've not I've probably not seen him for three, yeah. four months. Obviously, he's seeing me, I've seen him. Oh, how are you, mate? Just as you usually do, because mm. we're human beings. About to come over, no, you can't do that. You're breaking protocol. Mm. But you're right in his face, mate. Aren't you breaking yeah. protocol? <laughs> you need to be kicked out. Mate. Yeah, it's, <laughs> but it's just like what he was saying isn't making. Obviously, people are going to walk past each other. Obviously, yeah. people are going to linger for a bit. You can't. I just feel like I think that's why I've not been that excited about this. Oh, because you, it's like a tease just, for your freedom. Like, yeah, feel yeah. Like I'm it's, just like I know it's when when we first like were so excited to go out last time. Yeah, yeah, it was good to be out again, but it was so controlled. Yeah. And you know the staff are so stressed, and be working in hospitality, you know it's like it's not uncomfortable for them to be serving us. Yeah, like it's not, it's not. They're not enjoying serving us. Mm -hmm. I'm not enjoying it if they're. You know what I mean? Mm. It's, it's weird. And also, we're all like separate on our own mm. space. All the hand right. sanitizer and the masks, and yeah. you can't talk to anyone. You can't sing. You can't dance. I know, that's another thing That's not well. fun. No, it's mate, you know, I hear you. And play, I think we went to Birmingham, that place we went with the burger. Birdies. Birdies. That was such a good place, wasn't it? Such a vibe, But I yeah. felt like it ruined it because of the co all the COVID stuff. Do you know what I mean? Normally that place would be, they would have like a, they had like a big DJ yeah, booth. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. They had like I cocktails on draft and stuff. I hear you. No, I'm hearing you, man. Um, I'm excited to get to socialise yeah, again. of course, but, but no, what you say is It's not the right. same, so I'm not that. Yeah, it's like you. It's like we're gonna we're we're gonna be buzzing because it's like oh okay we're out of lockdown again. Yeah. But then it's like you'll quickly just be like oh god is it May the seventeenth yet? Yeah. Oh god is it June the twenty first yet? Because yeah. what you really want is just you want normality. Normality. Yeah. No, it's true, mate. I think, I think the I think probably the reason I'm happy about it is one because obviously it's just something to look forward to, and two just purely because. At least I can travel again. I think mm. that's the big thing I've said to you, in it? Yeah, at least I yeah, can at least yeah. be Come outside of Burton. Because yeah, yeah. when I think about how... Well, it might have been then. It might have been Brum, innit? The last time I was out of Burton and actually, like, yeah. socialised somewhere. So that's already... When, when was that? November, December time? I feel like it was back end of last year. October. October. So it was Octoberfest, wasn't it? Well, it was when you got in your Burgers. keyboard, so... Yeah. yeah. See what I mean? So yeah. it's already been six, what, six to seven months? Yeah. Six to seven months. In the same place. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm not saying <laughs> I'm not saying Burton's awful. But it's... <laughs> no. Um, but yeah. No, change of scenery would be nice. Yeah. Um, and obviously they're saying... I think they're saying like holiday accommodation and stuff, isn't it? Reopening. Yeah, but it's just crazy money. It's like 400 quid for a long weekend. Really? Yeah. What, like a log cabin? It's yeah. Like, Anything. I think even Centre Parks was like, saw TikToks earlier and it was like, hi mate, I'd like to uh, book uh, Centre Parks for just uh, a long weekend with my two kids. Yeah, that would be 30,500. <laughs> <laughs> 30,500, that's, that's pricey. That's pricey. Yeah. You have to shake the but money. It is. It's, obviously, they've got to make the money, but that's no, what I mean. I'm just sort of like... I'm prepared to hibernate for a little bit mm. longer until things are 100% back to normal. Well, that's the problem, though, isn't it? The thing I'm excited about is just being in people's houses and gardens. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Just anyone. Like, a stranger, your neighbour. Yeah. Rule of, what is it? Rule of six. <laughs> the stranger, your neighbour. Just <laughs> you I've realised what you're saying. I'm thinking about the rule of six, and then I'm imagining six strangers. I just imagine it's, looking in a random garden. It's sad. It's sad. <laughs> no, that's On the barbecue. <laughs> The burger, <laughs> bring your plate. <laughs> if only that's how the movies make out. It is. Yeah. Look, that make you laugh so much when you see neighbours on films and they're all best friends yeah. and they're all. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Saw a little Jimmy on his bike the other day, bro. No one on my street speaks to <laughs> the next door neighbour. No one speaks to anyone. Right. We have a nod when we see each other taking out the bins. Yeah. Nod, no smile, just a nod. Yeah. And then that's it. We're back in our house. See, I, I do. Um, 
I do weird stuff on my neighbour. What is what's <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I beg you passive aggressive fun. things. Like what? Like they'll put that bin out, but they'll put it in front of our pathway. Now our pathway is big enough for a bin and people to get past. It is. But it's the fact that they put it in front of ours <laughs> rather than in front of the house. So I put it right in front of their door. So that when they get out the house, it's all good for them. And I think now they know. Because we were getting rid of a TV the other day and they put it like again on the side of our pathway. And it was perfectly fine. It could have been there, but I just thought, nah, I'm going to put it in front of your door. It's again. a game. <laughs> yeah. You're playing a game. Sometimes I knock as well. I'm like, Here's your door. <laughs> Here's your bin. <laughs> Is that what it's come to, Lawrence? Yeah. Is that how you're relieving stress? I need day? to get out. Why think up your neighbours? Oh my God. Is that what it's come to? Yeah. My word. Nah, I don't bloody know, nah, man. It's mad, though, like, how you, um... I've been thinking about, like, coping and how people have coped, and I know everyone had times where you just fed up, but I've been thinking about just little things I've done and I've maybe not noticed just to, like, keep myself, like, sane Yeah, a little bit. Do you know what I mean? Like, even just... I don't know how to explain it. I think I just went out for a walk the other day and it wasn't like a big walk. It was literally like I needed to just... Some I, fresh I, air. Yeah, I was like, I'd realised I'd not been out of the house all day and I was like, I need to just step out. Yeah. And I literally just walked yeah. like up and down my street yeah. and then like came back inside and I was like, I just needed to know that like <laughs> there's still an outside <laughs> world. Do you know what I mean? But that's how it's felt at some points. I've just been... There's days where I'm just going for the motions and I'm like, <laughs> oh my God, what, what's my... What am I doing in life? <laughs> I'd love to see that. No, you, I knew you were going to say that. You just open my front door and I'm like that on the bed. On the window. <laughs> Got the vinyl on. Oh, God. Oh, mommy singing to me. I'm just like, what's happening? I'm not asking myself the lyrics. Three little birds. We're the three little birds. <laughs> When you break this song down, were there th- and then I think, well, uh, you got to do what's what's needed, and that's why I said people. I remember, I remember it's because it's a year ago since I started debating doing TikToks. Remember, don't forget that the TikTok career kicked off a year ago. Fantastic times. I, I needed it, and mm. I'll be forever grateful because I needed that man. Mm. Oh, I had so much weird energy that I was just like, oh, usually I'd be out with Lawrence dancing, doing the worm. On a sticky club floor. I don't know why it's just that I did. Um, well, yeah, all of that energy was being wasted. Where's your, <laughs> apart from torturing your neighbours, where's your weird energy gone to, Lawrence? Well, now you got some weird energy, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> bruh. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. We've had quite a lot of uh, interesting Friday nights. Hmm. You say interesting, <laughs> I say life or drink. Um, <laughs> that were, yeah, with um, that we've uh, experimented with drinks. With drinks, <laughs> yes, we have. Yes, we and have. Some drinks just make us really weird. Make us really str. I mean, the pod. Listen, when we're out of this and we're doing normal podcasts again, and we've got guests on, and we look back at this period of time, it's gonna be it's gonna be scary. What were we saying the other day, weren't we? How many have we done now on our own? Like weeks, twenty. Yeah, something like that. Something mad. This is the thirty-fourth. Yeah. And last time, last guest was I Alex. Think was it? Of, yeah. And when are we talking? At like eighteen. It might have been like what October. We've done at least like probably twelve on our own. Yeah, we've done a lot on our own, man. But that's the thing. Like, I'm hundred percent like I'm glad for it. I'm happy for it, and and it's got us through. But. I don't know. I think that's probably why I'm buzzing, like, it's springtime. It's just, like, even though things might not change straight away, it's just in my head I'm thinking, oh, but everything would just be better. Even <laughs> though it would probably still be yours two on the podcast for the next five or six weeks, I'm still just thinking in my head it'll be better because yeah, we've got a little bit of freedom. I just feel like, naturally, the moons will be better. I saw a TikTok this morning of oh, a guy. Oh, no. uh, oh. Come... Uh, 12th of April, outside in a beer garden, the guy's there like, with a glass of wine and soup, and it's absolutely chucking it down. 
<laughs> just getting drenched. Well, that's the thing. At the minute, it, it normally rains in like April. Yeah, I'll be honest. The last couple of weeks, <laughs> it's not filled me up with any sort of like home okay. weather wise. But no. I've just said as long as it doesn't rain. Well, then again, it's not just that. It's if it's windy too. Or what if he said yeah. outside? If it's windy as fuck. Cold. Yeah, no, it's true. And what is clusters outside? It's like you know, loaf and cheese. Yeah, that's yeah, hundred percent. It's that's... outside, but they've got a marquee, so yeah. you're good there. So is that is that yeah. is that still class marquee yeah. still good? Yeah. Well, you got to think. But remember when it first opened back up? It was only outside. Remember? I think it was exactly the same, wasn't it? When lockdown first got lifted last year, it was you were only allowed. Oh no, you might have been allowed inside actually. No, I don't remember. Do you remember being allowed inside? I don't know, but it's a weird one, isn't it? Because what if you you'd be gutted if you didn't have a beer garden now? Like you think about the dial. They've just w- got that a, open. That's no. so all they've got is a little. They've just terrace. got a little terrace, but no, they're not going to open. Well, even with, like Loka. They're going to open. They've only got yeah, a tiny... I they bet could. they were. Have they been, haven't they been sold or something? No, no, no. They've still got it. Oh. Still got it. Um, obviously, Association, they're cool because they've got all that outside bit, so they're like sound. Devi. That's got... A, well, it's not a massive garden, but... Like, I suppose, listen, if you've got... Yeah. For locals, for money, I feel like people are just going to be jam-packed into these tiny yeah, little gardens. It's true. It? And it's also, obviously, cost of running. Yeah. What's it going to cost them to keep it open? How much alcohol they're going to buy in? How yeah. much they're hoping to sell? No, it's very true, mate. It's That's very true. Again, it's just why I'm just so like, sounds like a lot of work. It does sound like a lot of work, but at least we just get to go to these places and enjoy. We'll have our own garden parties. What are you thinking? Have some theme ones. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be good. You need to get those bloody. Have you still got that cowboy hat? Have you still got it? Is it I dad's? found that in town. I heard you've got it. That means a lot to me, that hat. Cowboy hat. And I gave it to you. I'm sure oh. I did. The cowboy hat from a couple of years ago. Remember it yours? And it sat in the garden. That was my dad's. No, but that was another one. That I brought around. But that was your Chiquitos hat. Was Jess wearing it? No, I was wearing the Chiquitos hat. I had a cowboy hat I brought around. Where the hell was your hat from? <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is so awkward. Where's yeah, we need... <laughs> God, I give you that hat. <laughs> No, we do need to have a cowboy themed barbecue. Ooh, Ooh I'd love to I'd make a good <laughs> I'd make a good cowboy. <laughs> Shout out Ross Geller. Um <laughs> If you're watching now, Ross. Yeah. <laughs> we no, love we, you. We, <laughs> we should do the like the weirdest themed theme. Or well, the weirdest thing what do you mean? Like the weirdest theme. Like planets barbecue. And you'll come as a different planet. Or yeah, but that's kids right, the TV is with planets characters. and that though. That would be weirder. The problem is with planets; <laughs> it's just a color. Oh, look at me! I'm Mercury. I'm yellow. Okay, not planets. That's it. That's all it was at school. Was dressed or up as a color. Motown stars. <sighs> what Motown star would you dress up as, Lawrence? <laughs> <laughs> Boom, 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 Michael boom. Jackson. <laughs> Michael Jackson, Motown. You're not yeah. having it, mate. Go away. You're not having it. No, I suppose you can't really get away with that. <laughs> I've seen you in a hairpiece, though. You can rock it. No, I don't know. We can do... I do sort of like... No, I do... No, I do like the cartoon one, to be fair. I do like the cartoon idea. Animated series. Something like that. Superhero. Superhero would go down good. Yeah. Always a fun one to do, isn't it? Yeah. But make your own superhero. (gasps) Oh! Yeah. Can't be a pre-existing superhero. Oh! Oh, Chicken man. No, that would be sick. (laughs) Chicken man. Chicken man. Chicken blood. I'd say that with chicken. (laughs) Doof man. But chicken man instead. I was constantly, you got chicken in my hands. Oh, I'd be dressed like a I'd be piano boy. Oh. How would you do that, though? I'm already excited thinking about it. Oh, let's do that. Oh, be your own. What would be your superpower, though? What's Piano Boy's superpower? How does he defeat bad guys? P- plays the piano. What, like, what, a really puts intense? Them, puts and then into it, a dream. Oh, it gets them in a trance where he plays certain types of music. Yeah. Oh, you can make people feel whatever they want to yeah. feel via the piano. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. How would I kill people with chicken? Like superpowered chicken. 
like the Irish throw fist. chickens at them. Yeah, I could draw no, like cook chickens, cooked chicken. Yeah, because I feel like I would generate I the power the through chicken. the chicken. No, I don't want to be throwing live chickens around. <laughs> I just want a bucket where it's got like super energy. Ch- Imagine Thor's hammer, but in tiny little chicken pieces, and I'm like that, and the chicken pieces come back to me. So I just put my hand up now, and the piece of chicken just flies into my hand. Like a fucking and then you can go boomerang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I couldn't eat it too. It's chicken. It's, it's chicken. It's <laughs> good. <laughs> Hold on a sec, mate. I'm getting a, you know, I'm a little bit tired. Let me just okay, back at it. Boom, boom, boom. But oh what if your God. arch nemesis is oh, Colonel shit. Sanders? <sighs> that would make some comic book. He's like, hey, listen, boy. <laughs> Here we go. Here's the accent. Here it is. You think oh. your chicken gonna oh. kill me? Oh, God. Oh. No, Colonel. I don't. But this will. Bargain bucket. <laughs> and and that stuff's his face. <laughs> what are we talking about? What are we talking about? <laughs> that is sad <laughs> What would you wear, though? What would be his attire, piano boy? What would be his attire? Um, That's the thing. I feel like it'd be something quite sleek. Ooh. Like a full silk black suit, but the tie is like black, white, black, white, black, white, black, white. Ooh. Oh, I'm imagining that now. That sounds and I've got a ba- uh, like a black silk bandana like, like Zorro. Yeah. What, like, but it's not a bandana. What, it's like an eye mask or it's an actual bandana? An eye mask. Oh, and yeah. you just, oh, I see it, bro. Hair slicked back? Yep. Oh, that sounds fantastic. I'm going to have to change my... I'm a light chicken boy. I'm going to get a cape. <laughs> light chicken boy would have a cape. Oh, bro. Yeah, we're going to do this. I'm going to throw a themed make up your own superhero night. Oh, bro. That's an idea. See? Good ideas just come to us, guys. You're welcome. See, this is what I see. You could either do that or you could go... And sit in a beer garden that's cold and have to wear a mask and sanitize I mean. and be surrounded by idiots. That when you say it like that, it's no competition, Lawrence. But I feel like we're talking from a mate. Wherever we are, it's good vibes, isn't it? Yeah, true. It's like we're talking from someone else's opinion that probably are thinking, oh, crap, like, I'm really not looking forward to it. But let's yeah. face it, mate. When we're out and about and there's booze we flowing, have fun. we have bloody fun, man. We sit there, we drink, we people watch, we think about mm. things with the podcast. It's brilliant. And that's another thing I love as well, mate. Being out and about and just seeing, like, people... Yeah, I know it's going to be from a distance, but even just seeing people say, like, oh, yeah, like, yeah, like, I have a podcast doing and blah, blah, blah. Mm. And I've done this and I've done that. Because yeah. I still get a little bit, like... I forget sometimes people watch it. Yeah. People, someone said to me the other day... Um, it was a, uh, a girl from school said to me the other day... The, um, the uh, what C was it? The uh, Jacob's Consultant C. Oh, oh, yeah. That bit killed me. I was like, you watch it. Oh, <laughs> I was like, oh. Okay. Why? Like, why? Like, why? <laughs> Do you have any better to do? <laughs> <laughs> why are you watching our podcast? You, uh, Seriously, I, I, I judge you. <laughs> I, was, I went a bit weird about it. I was like, oh, weirdo. Ooh, uh, watching my podcast. <laughs> anyway, uh, good, good to catch up. <laughs> <laughs> LOL, perfect, bye. Um, yeah, I was like, whoa, okay. We've got a fan here. Whoa. Ooh, whoa. I'm just signing an autograph. Um, but no, really good. <laughs> no one really does autographs anymore, do they? No, they don't. I feel like if we ever hit the big time, bro, with a podcast, we should be autographed people, though. A little. What do you You've got a fantastic that? autograph. Self, self, isn't it? That's what people want now. Mm. Not a piece of paper and, oh, oh look who signed yeah, it. Self, picture. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, to be fair, I want one. Why would I want some signature? Are you weird? sure? Yeah, why would I? Oh, if I wanted like think about it, like some serious heroes, I'd want theirs. No, but think about it, bro. It... I remember I was at um, it's like a sports evening or something once, and someone mm. and I won like, oh, who was it? I think it was Michael Schumacher's autographed book. You won Michael Schumacher's autograph, bro. Book. Yeah. Fair enough. Michael Sch- Who is Michael Schumacher? Formula One driver. 
Formula One driver, isn't he? Yeah. yeah <laughs> so there of, you go. One, <laughs> of, the, one the, of the best drivers. Yeah, and at the time I was like, huh. Does anyone want this? <laughs> I don't know. I don't watch Formula One. No, I hear you. I don't care. But isn't it? I get if you're like signed boxing gloves or something like that, yeah. like Mike Tyson or. Yeah. Sign guitar for Ed Sheeran or... Yeah. Well, I suppose there's the option, isn't it? If I said to you, we'd rather a selfie of Ed Sheeran or a sign guitar. Sign guitar. But it's hard though, isn't it? Yeah. Would you rather meet him and take a selfie or have him send you a sign guitar? Do you see what I'm saying? A lot of people, bro, it's it's hard. Me yeah. personally, because I know they're only people, I have to go guitar. I have to. Yeah. True. Personally, just because... Yeah, true. Yeah, I'm going to meet him. I'm going to say hello, great. How are you, Ed? Sound, I love your music. I play an instrument, blah, blah, blah. A little bit back and forth, but that's it. All I've got is a selfie from him. Could I bring the guitar? No, because that's both, bro. That's spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving you a 50-50, <laughs> you know? No, you, you can't you have it all, much. bro. You want to fucking take your guitar to him, your signature, a selfie? You can't In this hypothetical all. world. In this hypothetical <laughs> world where Piano Man and Chicken Boy exist, what are you going to do? Super Ed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The guitar or the selfie? Yeah, guitar. I feel like you'd go selfie. I feel like you're lying to me. Me, a cheering in person, selfie, little chat, sign guitar from him sent to you. I, why do I feel like you go selfie and meet him? I feel like you do that. I think I'm would. not judging. Yeah, I think but I would. Is that purely based off just once in a lifetime? Just Yeah, I just want to talk to him. Season the opportunity. <laughs> Ed, if you're watching this, Ross Geller, move over. Ed, <laughs> Ed, if you're watching this now, I judge you, Ed. Ed. You, get, you shouldn't be watching this. <laughs> Don't send us a guitar. We want to meet you. That's right. Um, oh, yeah. It's a hard one, though, isn't it? When I think mm. about that. When I think about some of my favourite... Um, my artist, like for Kendrick Lamar, yeah, rather a signed personalized vinyl disc from him with like unheard footage, or to meet him in person and have a five minute chat with him and take a but selfie. How long would you be five minute chat? Yeah, that's quite long though. It's quite long, bro, but in it, it five minutes with one of your biggest idols like that, isn't it? like literally, it would just disappear. Yeah, but I feel like that, like the guitar would not bring me any closer to Ed. Whereas speaking to him, I feel like a bit of a... But one of his, but one of his instruments, Lars. Mm. I'm not on a bad... Are we going to get him on a bad day? You're going to be a bit of a dick. But that's, again, something you need to think of. That's why I'd Because they meet a lot of people. And then people always say, don't meet your heroes because they could be a knobhead. And then you don't like him anymore, which is very true. So we don't want to meet you, Ed, just in case. I'm sure you love Ross, me, come back on, Ed. We know. <laughs> <laughs> no, um... I'm predict- bro, when you think about it now... It's so true because yeah. I would rather just, I don't know, create an image in my head of what this person's like. Yeah. Because you took, let's face it, we look at Ed Sheeran and we assume sound, dance worth guy, great, always in a good mood because I've never seen him in a bad mood, always in a good mood. And that's yeah. the image you've got of him. Yeah, true. Because you don't have a reason to see him in any other way. So meeting him and him being knackered or him being like, oh, God, I never greeted me. Be crap. Just ruin it, isn't it? it just ruin it. He'd come back, he'd put his songs on, and then you'd associate that experience with his songs. That's what I like about biopics, because you see, like, the... Ah, uh, yes. You see them in a different light. Yes. Like Elton John, that one. I'm not mad to think, bro. I've never actually thought about that until you've just said, like, 50 years from now, it's going to be, like, Ed Sheeran. Yeah. Like, biopics, and we'll be watching it, like... That'd be cool. Oh, all this crap happened to him. Mm. No, mate, no, it's very but true. But that's now. And the clocks have just gone back... But they've gone forward. Here we go. Here we go. Think about that. Yeah, think about that for a second. Work that riddle out. Riddle me this, riddle me that. But, um... <laughs> no, bro. That's really intriguing, man. It's really intriguing. I like thinking about stuff like that. Because people act like... I know they're celebrities. We put them on a higher bloody ground and they're in the heavens. They live a different life. I get it. I do understand. <laughs> but the reality is, as a human being, you're going to talk to you for five minutes. It's going to be dope. But I feel like you're going to realise in the moment that yeah. they're just Yeah, true, people. to be fair. Everyone, like, slightly famous, I think I've spoke to or met. I thought, yeah. Oh, yeah. Literally, like. Just a normal person. 
Like you're right there. Yeah. <laughs> you're you, flesh. You're kind of small. <laughs> <laughs> you start critiquing it. You're a bit of a dickhead, aren't you? <laughs> Dude, really? Those shoes with those trousers? I would love that if you met a chair and just <laughs> tore him apart. Oh, oh I don't really... How do you want to talk to you? What kind of day? <laughs> I just got... Ew. <laughs> Let's go. Let's leave. <laughs> Give me the guitar. Give me the guitar. <laughs> Bro, but it's true though. Yeah. You come face to face with people and you think like Yeah. Oh yeah, it's amazing it'd be this and it'd be that. But I've seen like rappers, bro, I've seen singers, I've yeah. seen footballers up close. And I'm looking at them, I'm thinking and to be honest, at first, most of the time I don't even notice it's them because I'm like, you're a person. So yeah. I'm not even looking like but then when I realise who it is, I'm still just like... It's weird how you think. Oh. You really are just human, aren't you? Yeah. Expecting them to be a different species. Walking along, <laughs> eating the same food. Eating bro, that's the what same used grass. Be, that's, what used to be so, that's what used to be so funny, bro. The said about <laughs> footballers, obviously, because they're at St. George's. Yeah. They used to come in all the time in the afternoon. And people used to rave over about it. And I did, because I'd met um, two footballers on my first shift at Sunny World, Chris Small and Phil Jones. I supported Man United. They were playing for him at the time. Fantastic. And I loved it. It was great. But I went in there. I had a little bit of banter. I got signatures and I bounced. I didn't need to get a selfie. I just got the signatures, had a chat, shook hands and I bounced. But some of the, like the way, some of the other people used to go on, Brett. Mm. It was embarrassing. Oh my God, Joe Hart. He loves pick and mix. He brought like 30 pounds worth. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> Joe Hart, you come on now. Ross, go back out. We don't care if you like pick and mix. Like, they're so... He brought sweets and people are, like, raving about yeah. it. Oh, my God, he brought pick and mix. Oh, my God, so-and-so come in, man. He had Baskin and Robbins. Oh, I made it in, man. It was mad. And then he ate it. What did you want him to do with it? Hmm? It was ice cream and chocolate. Yeah. What's he supposed to do? I just couldn't ever imagine being like that. And people always say to me, no, Jacob, if you met... Blah, 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 you would get. I'd be excited, but I wouldn't, like, pass out. Mm. Like, you know what I mean? Mm. I'd be weird. I wouldn't go all, like, shaky, like, oh, my God, what the hell is going I just feel like I wouldn't be like that. Yeah. Do you ever think about celebrities' heights? What do you mean? I like, want to watch. Oh, how, how tall they are in real yeah. life? Yeah. You ever, like, Sometimes. look up people and yeah. be like, oh, he's so small. Yeah. Yeah, that's weird, isn't it? Sometimes, recent, I think over the past couple, I didn't used to, but over the past couple of years, I'm watching films now, and naturally, I'm like, I could be taller. I reckon you're quite small, which is weird. Yeah, why do no, we think 100%, that? hundred percent. I don't know. As if that's like a higher power. <laughs> no, because again, we put them on a. Yeah. We assume like, that they're bigger than us. They're this. Yeah. They're that. No, like I'm bigger. I could beat you up. You, <laughs> the action star. I could knock yeah. you out. No, but it's Bink. it's. <laughs> You beat Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, if you watch this, Tom, listen, mate. I want you to uh, <laughs> listen, mate. I got this chicken, this chi super chicken idea. Uh, chicken boy was called. <laughs> I think you'd be great for a part. Get back to me, Tom. Cheers. <laughs> Sign it off with a flip. Oh, I remember when I went to watch uh, Kevin Hart. At, oh God, um, Barclays Arena. I was quite, I wouldn't say super close, but I was close enough to like. See, see how, how small it was. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, Jesus, he's really small. He's a tiny human being. Yeah. But you just, because of, I don't know, I know he's a larger than life character, but you just, you assume. Mm. But you see him, because most of the time you probably only see the top half. Right? Yeah. No, you never really yeah, see no, them fully. Built. It's not like he's, it's like he's mm. small, Yeah, but he's not like tiny. Mm. He's just small in height. Yeah. He's still a big bit. But in the opposite to that, bro, sometimes I don't realise how big people are. So celebs like The Rock. Yeah. I've watched, obviously, we've watched yeah. interviews with Joe Rogan. And yeah. He's like, The Rock is jacked. That dude <laughs> is huge. And you yeah. think, but Joe Rogan, we think yeah, you're think huge. huge. So The Rock yeah. is well, like, he's different like specimen, six, he's. six, six, five, something like that. Specimen. He must be, like, in person to see him. Mm. I saw, uh, like, a, a clip of him on, like, Graham Norton, like, yeah. last night. Popped up, like, on my, on my Facebook. On the chair and the and he's so just, it just goes it's off. like that with his legs open yeah. and his hands are like on his knees and I'm thinking you are he is huge you that's another thing basketball guy. players oh bro they're I'm freaks of nature they're man. just like what was that like I asked you when, when you went when you went New yeah. York what was that like Absolutely. team then just like 
It just reminded me of Avatar. It must be away. like Wonders of the first World. Thought it? was like Avatar. Oh, like, well, you guys are like everything. The fingers are so long. You're just picking up basketball with the hands. Yeah. Oh. Like, and when they do that. Like even when you're not, they're not jumping no, to do a It's like they're doing they're it with no just, motion. Like yeah, the feet just, are just up a little bit, and they're almost touching the rim. Just literally, just. just. And I think like I'd be sick at basketball if I was that tall. No, but that's what a lot of people forget. Yeah. I always used to think in school, oh god, I want to dunk like that and dunk. Yeah, you could be like six four. <laughs> yeah. That's why you can't dunk. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. There's people that are six foot and shorter that can dunk because they've got unbelievable ap- athleticism. Yeah. But for the average person, I know a lot of it's about speed and yeah. Whatever, but, tactics, but the facts are, if I was six foot six above, yeah. I'd be probably a be, a able lot easier. <laughs> be able to dunk. Be able to dunk. That's just yeah. the facts. But we do often like, I do often put myself in that 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 category of you. You were born to do certain things. Yeah. If you are into sport and you're seven foot, mm. there's a good chance you're gonna make it as a back a basketball player. Yeah. I'm not saying you're gonna get to the NBA because I get there's a very, very high level of skill needed, but there's a good chance you just that's what's gonna happen. Yeah. It's like being born with really um like you Usain Bolt. Yeah. Freak of nature. He's like six foot four, six foot five. These are the sort of people that scare me. The people that do like unnatural things. I used to think if you're shorter, you can go faster. That's what I always used to think. I never thought the tallest man, well, not the tallest man, sorry. I never thought the fastest man in the world would be taller than me. Yeah. And have such amazing genetics. Yeah. To the fact that his body could move. Because when I see him, I'm looking at him. And when I'm seeing him, like he's lined up against like the other people he's racing against, I think, how are you able to move so quick? Mm. It's not even skinny or muscle, and he's just... It's literally just that. just born with it, man. Patient. You've got it. it. You've got it. Mm. But I would love to be super athletic, man. Like, super athletic. You see these people doing flips and back flips and handstands for, like, three minutes and just next-level crap, and I just think... I feel like you passed that now. Yeah, just that's it now. I'm not doing handstands. I'm not doing cartwheels at family parties anymore. 25. I have to grow up. <laughs> Jacob, get off the Bampton Castle. You know, it's at that age now. Jacob, take off the chicken outfit. No. <laughs> it's not going to happen, Jacob. No, but you don't feel like... When we have family parties now and I see the Bampton Castle, I think I can't even do this myself anymore. I can't. Yeah. I'm done. Yeah, I know my nephews are trying to goad me to come on there and beat them up and I might have a little snippet. But overall, I'm, I'm too big. Yeah. If I have one bad fall, someone's child is going to die in here. I should not be on here. Yeah, true. It's a danger. Yeah, it's like it goes for a point people, when you're a danger. It's like, crap, I can't go on back to castles anymore. <laughs> Why is Uncle so Lawrence no, crying? Nice <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it happens. You know what I do when I do that? Uh, big oh. ass inflatable oh. course that they have. You'd with drinks that. And stuff. I can imagine you doing that, you know. I can imagine, what's it called, that? It's on telly. What's it called? Ninja Warrior. Oh. Yeah, I can imagine oh, I've you always doing wanted that. to do that. I can imagine you doing that. Always wanted well, to do I that. think you're quite athletic, though, to be fair. I feel like you could be a lot more athletic. Yeah, probably. But I feel like you're naturally, you're quite like, yeah, I feel like you're quite an athletic person. I feel like I could imagine you doing something like that that required, like, because basically, that, all, that sort of stuff's all just about, it's about toughness, really. You can train for it and stuff, but mostly it's just about can about you carry your fear. own body weight and shit like that. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Which obviously, actually, a lot, a lot of people can't actually do like yeah. pull ups and crap. But I feel like, well, no, when I see him doing that. the monkey bars and all that <laughs> stuff, I feel like, yeah, I feel like you'd be sick of that, man. I tell you what, we do need to do them. Should we do a mud run? I would like to do a mud run, but it's a lot of training. It's running. Like, I'm rubbish at running. Uh, you are. You don't do any. Yeah, you only. Yeah, what? <laughs> Why are you rubbish at running though, Lawrence? I don't what? get it. Why don't you run? I don't, I don't get it though, bro. I could imagine you being one of the geezers though, like. You've got your you, phone need. you need a friend you. who's that angry at you for not running. Yeah, bro, he can do it. He should be a good runner. I just want good things for you, brother. No, but I just don't get it. Because I imagine you being one of them geezers that would just be sick at running. Just one of them obnoxious twats. Yeah, I fucking ran 5k in my sleep. Yeah, it was fucking sad. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Gregory's no. gonna come with me, but he can't run as fast. <laughs> you should be that guy. No. I don't like running. Oh, I don't know why. That's what we're gonna do. I will do one day. <laughs> gonna start it at a certain yeah. age. 
I'm going to be a runner 65. now. 65. <laughs> 65 years old, Lawrence is going to run a marathon. Yeah, I'm going to be a runner. Yeah. <laughs> it's about time. <laughs> Jacob's like, <laughs> yeah. we finally made it. Yeah. <laughs> Got no limbs left. Nothing works anymore because I've been running for the past 65 years. Yeah, not good. Not good at all, brother. Mm. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Getting back out there. New things. Discovering even more new things. New faces. New things. New faces. Some more scenery. Let's get some stuff booked, bro. Yeah. Yeah? Let's do some shiz. Shiz. Okay. <sighs> nice mm. to see you, folks. Mm. Once again. Always a pleasure, guys. Please give us a like. Please give us a subscribe. But most of all... Enjoy the content. I don't know what that was. Enjoy the content. Yeah. <laughs>